the sun is setting here on Esper's Valley, and we're catching the last glimpse of sunlight. A little bit in the afternoon here, and trying to catch some animals in transition here. Most are coming out to drink, and are returning to their rest. And I'm just taking this lake and kind of see what I find here. Maybe we can get some nice big horned, some mountain mountain goats. We'll definitely see what we could encounter here. I've been hearing some elk here in the distance. I'm not sure if they're returning. They're going to drink. I want to be extra careful as I approach the zone because I never know what's what's ahead. Just want to pick up some zones as I go along. Kind of see what's in the area. This is a great spot for a lot of animals here. This is a pretty high habitat. And most of the animals you find here can be really, really nice trophies. It's a good place to scout and kind of herd manage and don't over, over hunt these animals. Give them time to grow. If you want, you can use your collar. Really fine tune as you like. It's a great spot for a whole bunch of animals. You definitely won't be wasting your time. I think your approach to the game is important. It dictates your success, you know. You definitely want to treat the game as real life hunting. I strongly feel as if when you do that and you slow the game down, you really get the best out of it. Running around and jumping around is not really the way to go. Even in the dev's diary it said that running around is not an option. So I feel when you really really slow the game down, you can really get the most out of it. And for sure, most people don't have time for that. You know, you got kids, you got work. And for those who have time to sort of sink into a nice simulation, you're in the right place. We have the hunter is, is the game. You can literally slow the game down to a molecule. Stalk. And really, really, you know, be quiet. And get the best of your animals. Such a great experience. I'm hearing these elk here. They're probably eating or resting. But they're alert to my presence. I want to use the slowest. Oh wow. They're literally coming my way. I'm going to zero for about, let's say, 100. In case I can get anything I can shoot. I'm seeing a nice rack here. Oh, that's a beautiful elk. How lucky is that? They're actually coming my way. They're definitely returning from their drink zone. I'm in the right place at the right time. I just need a nice, clear view of this guy so I can take a good shot. That's a huge rack. I'm guessing he's at least maybe a four star. If he's a three, I'd be very surprised. I do feel he's on the higher spectrum. Might need to take a very risky shot here, but I should be able to see him at least 
at least in a vital area from this point on. I don't want to take a frontal, but I might have to here. Based on that blood, I think we got a good shot. Yeah, we did. He's kind of hobbling away there, so... That was awesome. I definitely wasn't expecting them to come my way. But... Sometimes, sometimes you end up in the right place at the right time. And beautiful things happen. A little hard to gauge as to how far they're away from me. I can't really see the blood. Well, we know he went that way. Sometimes it can be really, really hard to, to track here because of the, the vegetation. There we go, there's some blood. So that's beautiful blood we can we can track. Sometimes you get lucky. The animals are coming your way. They can't really smell you. They sort of walk right into your trap. And other times they spook or they run away and they give you a hard time. There's different variations of hunts you can have, you know, and that's what makes the Way of the Hunter so awesome. I'm excited to see where this guy is. I wasn't expecting to see elk, let's so hopefully if I can get some mountain goats. But there he is just up ahead. It's a massive rack. Look at the size of that. This never gets old, man, seeing that majestic. This never gets old, seeing these majestic racks. So I'm 35 meters out, so they were pretty close. I got just above the heart. Could have been closer. And that might have ended up being a really bad shot. Under different circumstances, but I'm happy that we got him. Now we got a five star, 97%. That is amazing. Look at that nice clean rack. Perfectly symmetrical. That is a beauty. Sometimes you gotta really take in this masterpiece, you know, of art. We did such a great job on these racks. Like, look at that. It's a beautiful animal. And he's looking old. You can see the fur. You can tell it's an old animal. Holy cow. So that range at 35 meters out. So we lost about three kgs of you know of meat. Which is expected. For the trophy, it's a uh, 464. Not too bad. I couldn't judge him in the field there. He looked fairly big. 464. That's a bit on the lower spectrum, but we'll take him. No doubt. That's a great start to the hunt. Got a beautiful elk. I think I'm hearing some uh, some bighorn sheep here. The sun is setting, so soon it's going to get very, very hard to see. And while uh, night vision is very viable in this game, it can be very, very tricky to hunt in because your headlamp only goes so far. You know? But at least... Time goes pretty much faster, you know, than the day. 
So at least you have that on your side. Let me check my wind. So like I was saying, you know, it's an amazing place to find really good like, genetic animals. Just like the elk we took down, you can find many more of that. There's a whole bunch of herds up here you can scout. Really, really nice genetics. From mountain goats to bighorns, like, good genetics. Most of them will be like in the 90s and stuff. Mid 80s. So if you're looking for a really nice trophy, this is your spot. You come here every so often, you know, check up on them, make sure you you get rid of all the all the low genetics, and you kind of really fine tune your herds as you like. You won't be disappointed. I'm not hearing any calls anymore. Okay, it sounded like I spooked herd over there. I wonder if that's the, the elk herd or another herd of some sort. This is why it's important to really sneak up anywhere you go. Because you never know what's over that hill. That's very interesting. That spook that I heard there didn't sound like it was a whole bunch of animals. It sounded like it was one animal. It's a big horn, could be. And that's how you can kind of tell if it's a single animal you, you spooked or a majority because the trampling of the twigs goes on forever. If it's a herd, if it's a single one, if it's a single animal, it usually stops fairly quickly. But I can't tell what animal that is. A very, very tricky zone to hunt in because of all these hills and rocks here. Very, very challenging spot. There they are, just over that. Just up on this mountain here. Let's get a closer look. Seems like a very young herd. All their horns are very, very small. And like we got some females here. So maybe they spooked, they didn't go very far. Come on, we got a big boy here. Two of them. They don't seem ripe for the picking yet. They look maybe, maybe a two or three star. Usually there's a big boy in the herd here, but I'm not really seeing one. Unless he's like hiding somewhere. But these are two nice nails you can, you know, come back and check on. 
I think I'm just gonna let them grow. Because I'm not confident enough that they're ripe for the picking. I'm gonna let them live. I'm gonna come back and definitely check up on them. They, they gotta be max to three stars. To see them both like this in the herd, it's very, very, uh, very promising. I'm very optimistic about that. Okay, so I'm definitely glad I ran into these guys. So I'll definitely come back and check and see what I can get here. I cannot go beyond this mountain here from this angle, so I'm going to have to cut back in that lake again and continue. That's what I'll do. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. We took down a very nice elk. We saw some potential big horns that I'm going to come back and check up on. And overall, that was a very successful hunt. Thank you for watching, and thank you for listening.